Ed Sheeran, the singer-songwriter, had threatened to quit music if he lost his copyright infringement battle. But a federal jury ruled that Sheeran did not steal from Marvin Gaye's classic, Let's Get It On. But one juror is saying about the verdict. Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef. Today? Tonight, that major legal victory for superstar Ed Sheeran. A federal jury in Manhattan finding the singer not liable for copyright infringement. I'm obviously very happy with the outcome of the case, and it looks like I'm not having to retire from my day job after all. During the two-week trial, at times the courtroom turning into a concert venue, with the musician playing guitar and belting out a mashup of songs from the witness stand in an effort to prove he did not copy this hit song by Marvin Gaye. To write his own chart topper. Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Sheeran sued by the family of the late Ed Townsend, the co writer of Let's Get It On, claiming the Grammy winner lifted the exact chords for thinking out loud. These chords are common building blocks which were used to create music long before Let's Get It On was written. The judge instructing the jury that similarities do not equate to copyright infringement. And after just three hours of deliberations, the jury siding with Sheeran. We ultimately came to what we thought was the right interpretation of the law that we were given. Our thanks to Ariel. Ed Townsend's daughter testified she wanted to protect her father's legacy. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.